Hello, in this Dart programming tutorial, we are going to look at strings. Strings are really powerful. They usually, you know, if you did computer science or some sort of programming course at university, you will have like quite a, you know, big chunk of it, you know, relatively speaking compared to some other topics, just on strings. You know, obviously you can create a string like this, for example, if any of this seems unfamiliar, I recommend checking out the data side of the video. If I put hello world into here, you know, it's that simple. You might think, you know, okay, there's not much more to it. Why would you need to spend a lot of time learning strings? The reason is there's a lot of functionality and you'll be using strings all over the place from getting inputs from the user to converting that string to numbers, to manipulating it, to combining it. So let me show you all the ways that you can actually create a string. So first of all, let me print this one out, str, and what I'm gonna do is create, I'll copy this. So there are four different ways of creating a string, and I wanna cover all of them. So you can use double quotation marks, you can use single quotation marks, and what you can also do is use triple double quotation marks. And you may have noticed that when I did triple quotation marks, all of this turned to the same color as this. The reason is this is a multi-line comment. So if you don't want to put it all on one line, you can use a multi-line comment. So let, I will demonstrate that in a second. And I think you can guess, you can use a triple single line. I mean, a triple single quote as well. So benefit of this, we can do stuff like this. So if we were to run this, as you can see, we've got the two strings printed out. The multi-line is, well, printed out on multiple lines, as you know, you probably can imagine by the name. So why would you, you know, I think you can guess why you would ever want to have a single line one and a multi-line one. There are use cases, but why would you ever want to have double over single quotation mark? You know, depending on the language, sometimes there are differences in terms of performance and other stuff. The main reason you would have it in Dart is because imagine if I had in here, like in here, for example, I wanted to put the word your, as in, you know, the shortened version of you are, so like that, as you can see, if I try and put one there, we get an error because this has closed off the string. So we get a problem here. So we don't want that. And one way that we can alleviate that is by putting a backslash that, you know, essentially what is called, you know, just escaping that character and that just prints it out. But if we don't want this in there, we could use the double quotation. As the single quotation will not interfere with the double quotation, we can just write it normally and vice versa. If we want to put double quotation in there, we could put it in here. So we could literally, you know, do that. And we could say hi in here. And as you'll see, double quotation will get printed out. But obviously if you need to, you know, mix and match them, then no one of them will work. You'll need to do stuff like this and backslash. So if I needed to put a double quotation mark there, if I put a backslash, that you know alleviates that problem, allows us to have single quotation and double quotation all within one string. Okay, so we might be thinking, I've got it, good to go. Is there anything else? Honestly, there there is actually a few more things. So let's cover them. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, I'm actually going to comment this out for them. I'll leave it in, this will be provided on the GitHub link, but just to make it simple for us to read. I'm gonna create two new strings. I'm gonna call it str1 equals. I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna create number one. str2 equals world. And what we can do is, if we create another string, let's call it result equals. We can add these strings together. You might be thinking, you know, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean add them together? You know, it's not like it's the number five and four. If you add it together, you get nine. With a string, when you add two strings together, no, Dart knows that, you know, they're not numbers. So we're not performing a mathematical operation. What we're actually doing is essentially just 
joining them together. And you'll see right here, so if we do str1 plus str2, as you'll see, we do not get any errors, so that's a good sign. Now if we print out the result, we get hello world, all on one line from this one string. So this allows us to join them together. But you may have noticed there's no space. We you know would know that there should be a space between these two words. The programming language does it. You will literally join them up the way you've given it to them. So if you want a space, you need to either put a space here or one there. And if you put both there, as you'll notice, we get two spaces. So if we only want the one, just put it in one of the strings. There we go. And that's it. And we can, you know, add as many strings as we want. And the technical term for adding strings to together is concatenation, also sometimes referred to as interpolation. So another thing I just really quickly want to cover is where you can add a string into a like within a string. So if if I wanted to put if I created another string, I'll put it name. I'll put my alter ego name, which is Batman. And if I want to insert this string, not the end or at the start, which which is fine for using the plus symbol. If I want to insert it there, what we can do is put we put dollar, open close curly braces, the name of the variable. And if I run that now, there we go, we get Batman. But what we can also do here is, you know, something else really, really cool. So if we was to just do this without it, we can do it without the curly braces, but it doesn't know where the variable name ends until it hits a space. But if we don't want a space, then we want the curly braces. I covered this in a separate video, just this little thing, which is basically printing a string inside of a string or putting a string inside of a string. What you can also do here is you can actually do mathematical calculations. So if I do six times six, that works it out as 36, and then that puts it as a string within this string. So that is really awesome. So we could you know, have another one here. We could have name, for example. That just allows us to easily combine strings. So I think you're beginning to see how powerful strings are in Dart. And they're pretty much like this in all languages. There's you know, a bunch of other things we can do as well. So we, if we want to check the length of our string. So let's check the length of you know this one here. So if we do str.length, uh, str1.length. And it's not a method, it's a property, hence why there's no brackets at the end. And I'll show you some of the methods. We get six. You might be looking at it and thinking, but there's only five letters. Remember, there's a space here. We, you know, in real life, if we saw this written down on a page, for example, in a, you know, a Word document, we'll probably ignore the space, especially if it's at the start or at the end. The computer does not. That's something to bear in mind. If you're doing stuff based on length and whatnot, it will factor in not just spaces in between words inside the string, but at the start and at the end of the string as well. So if you do not want this space to be, you know, considered as the length, you need to remove it. Okay, so there's a bunch of other methods, but there's like a lot of them, a lot of properties that you can use. I'm actually going to provide an extra link so you can, you know, go over them in your own time and essentially just learn about all of them. If you understand what we've covered in this video, you're all good to go. I wanna show two more. I wanna show two more methods and you'll be able to access all of them via a link online. So another one I wanna do is print. So if we have str1 dot, what we can do is dot two lowercase. And it's a method, hence the brackets. I think you can guess what this does. I'm going to do the uppercase equivalent, which is dot two uppercase. It just converts all the characters to either lower or uppercase. As you can see, this was initially all lowercase except for the H. Now it's all lowercase. And this was all you know lowercase again except for the H. But now everything that wasn't uppercase is now uppercase. The last thing I want to show you is the trim method, the so print. If I do str1.trim, run that, let's see what we get. We get hello. You might be thinking, you know, did that make a difference at all? <laughs> you know, did it? 
and what trim does it removes any you know empty space any white space at the start and at the end so any you know spaces so if i was to add a bunch of spaces here as you can see it's all being removed now but when this was inserted into here and this was factored into here the spaces were you know used inside of here but for the trim method the spaces get removed but the spaces are only removed at the start and at the end so if i just put in a random counters there these spaces in between will not get removed so don't worry it's only empty space at the start and at the end like i said there's other functions that you can use and other properties but if you understand everything that we covered you're all good to go if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video.